Welcome back to Jan Stadion in Berlin, Germany, where the Berlin Thunder have their first game ever in NFL Europe at home, hosting the Scottish Claymores. The ball delivered today by a parachutist, and the weather is perfect for football. 63 deg degrees, a slight wind, and a chance of rain perhaps later on. Let's look at our coaches. Wes Chandler leading the Berlin Thunder, former All-Pro with the San Diego Chargers in the NFL. On the other sideline, it'll be Jim Kreiner. Kreiner led his team to a World Bowl title in 1996. The Berlin Thunder won the kickoff. They will receive. Chris Dolan set the kickoff for the Claymores. Back to receive for Berlin. Number 22, George Harris. Number 33, Justin Watson. Looked at this Coach Kreiner down there. Had a little microphone problem. The headphones, the headsets are down. Everything can't go perfect on opening day. And we are underway. A short kick from Dolan. This will go out of bounds near the 20-yard line. And we have our first play and our first penalty. Place at the 40 yard line. First down. Berlin takes over on the 40 yard line. Bill Moss, your keys to today's game. Well, you know, Ray, both these quarterbacks are scrambling types. When you have Andre Ware out there scrambling around and Damian Craig. So it's actually the quarterback rushing game and containing that. And then the running backs, Scotland with the two back attack and Edwin Watson for the Berlin Thunder, they can grind the ball out. And field position is a key. And the reason I say that is because of that opening kickoff right there. Berlin starts out in excellent field position. Andre Ware throws a quick one outside. This is Andre Rome. Rome, out a gain of nine on the play, but there is a flag down. Our referee today is Tony Corrente. And the Claymores pointing at Berlin. And indeed, delay of game on the Berlin Thunder. Well, that would be illegal man. Illegal. Eligible receiver downfield on the pass, number 88. The tight end was covered up by a wide receiver. Five-yard penalty. Replay first down. A formation problem. There's Andre Ware, the 1989 Heisman Trophy winner. And last year, last week, rather, we saw Ware really progress as the game went on. Had about a year out of football, and he wanted to get his hone his skills over here, knock some of the rust off. We saw that. But he didn't have any touchdowns through the air. He did it by scrambling. Wes Chandler said he wants to see more product productivity out of his quarterback today. So that brings up a first and 15 now, and the Thunder go to four wide receivers, and there is still discussion as to what's going on down on the field. Last week, the Scottish Claymores gave up a long drive to the Rhine fire on the opening drive and they want to get in here and get a better start this week. You, know, you talk about all the enthusiasm you come charging out of the locker room out of the tunnel and all that anxiety builds up to the kickoff and the guys come running out there on the field. Take a look at Andre they Ware. Determined that the ball was pass was completed at the line of scrimmage. Therefore, there is no penalty on the play. The play will go second down. See, when well, you're talking about the formation, the ball has to be thrown. You can have a blocker downfield as long as the ball is thrown at the line of scrimmage or behind the line of scrimmage. You can have your blockers downfield. You can't have the ball caught past the line of scrimmage and have blockers downfield. That would be ineligible man, ineligible man downfield. So they gathered collectively, the referees discussed it, and what they came up with, that the ball was caught at the line of scrimmage, so it's okay to have a blocker downfield. So the nine-yard reception by Andre Roan stands, and it is second and one for Berlin. And they go to four wide receivers. Edwin Watson behind Ware, and he'll take this handoff, and he is stacked up immediately behind the line. Shatoni Sargent with a big defensive play. Let's take a look at this Berlin offense. Edwin Watson, the man who just carried the ball. Mike Bowman, Andre Roan, and Anthony Rogers are the receivers. Marcus Hinton is the tight end. Up front, you've got Mike Edwards, Derek Turner, Jason McAdoo, John Zatiska, and Tashi Williams. McAdoo player of the game last week as voted by the coaching staff in Berlin brings up a third down and one on 
Andre Ware, a quick drop, throws it outside. He connects with Bowman for a first down. Clifford Ivory with the defense. Let's check that Scottish Claymore defense. Sergeant Keeney, Palmer, and Tobo up front. The linebackers Hess, Finkus, and Alan Campos, formerly with the Cowboys. At the corners, Ellums and Clifford Ivory, Wiggins and Razga are your safeties. First and 10 Berlin in Scotland territory at the 45 yard line. Play action from Andre Ware. Going down the middle for his tight end. Oh, dropped by Isaac Curtis. Good defense coming over Steve Razga. And Lee Wiggins, both the safeties involved. Pretty good thrown ball, and actually, Isaac Curtis had a step on the safety. He got behind the safety. The ball was thrown nicely. He was backpedaling, though, couldn't pull it in. Second down and 10, three wide receivers in the mix. A bare defense from Scotland. This will be Edwin Watson trying the left side. He is stopped immediately. Brad Keeney with a good defensive play. You mentioned that bare front. They stacked the line of scrimmage. They saw it was second and 10 after the pass. Now watch the line up here. Here's Keeney and watch him come across the line of scrimmage and then close on the play. Right through McIndoo, the center. The outside was stacked up. And the reason that he made that play and was able to make that play, you talked about that bare front. They brought the linebacker up over the tight end. They widened the defensive end outside of him. They stacked that whole corner up in the backside pursuit is what caught him. Third down and 12. Andre Ware. Drop Street dumps it outside. Incomplete. Intended for Edwin Watson in Berlin. Their drive stalls and they will have to punt this away. Charlie Pierce comes on to punt. Forty yard average last week. Deep to receive is Ellums, Joey Ellums for Scotland. They keep their defense on the field. They're playing punt safe here. High hanging kick. Fair catch at the seven yard line by Ellums. In that field position you talked about, Bill is in the favor of the Berlin Thunder right now. Damian Craig, the quarterback of this Scottish team, scored the winning touchdown with just a minute 21 last week, and he can do all kinds of things for your offense. Well, he's notorious for being able to scramble around, but this guy can throw the ball, too. Had a season record of 3,000 yards out at Auburn, throwing out a shotgun. And the reason he's here primarily, he says, is to get that work taking the snap under center. Last week, Jim Kreiner fell in love with him. He threw the ball 40 times that game. And the Claymores start in a three wide receiver offense and run the draw. This is Haynes up past the 10 to the 14 yard line on first down. Take a look at the backs and receivers for this Claymore offense. Jesse Haynes, the man who just carried the ball. Jamie Reeder usually starts at fullback. Yo Murphy. Scott Cooper, the wide receivers. Sean Bell, the tight end up front. Stokes, Dyson, Zatelli, Parks, and Sims. If you notice all of them, see the Miami Dolphins, Baltimore Ravens, there's little NFL notations underneath the players. That means that that player is allocated to the NFL Europe League from the NFL. They are on an NFL roster. Play action on second and four. Craig pumps once, throws it outside, and connects. This is Jesse Haynes. Haynes, it's a foot race. 30, 20. 10, 5, touchdown, Jesse Haynes. 84 yards, 86 yards officially. And Scotland strikes early. You're gonna watch to the left side of your screen. Jesse Haynes rolls out on a little flare. Now here's the corner in here. There's nobody outside on contain on the flare. There's no flare containment outside on the back. And Haynes has the sidelines and takes it all the way. Scott Cooper threw a nice block to get him going and the extra point from Rob Hart is up and through. And the Scottish Claymores 
Shock the Thunder early. They take a seven to nothing lead. Jesse Haynes starts thing out, things out right. Uh, property of the Kansas City Chiefs, an 86 yard touchdown run and catch from Damian Craig. It is seven to nothing as Rob Hart added the extra point and he will now kick off from the 30 yard line. George Harris and Justin Watson are deep to receive. They're not getting any depth on their kickoff. Take a look at that touchdown. Watch Damian Craig. Watch the pump fake. The pump fake right here is enough to freeze the safety inside. You see number 24 right there, Roderick Thomas. He bites on that pump fake, doesn't get outside. Jesse Haynes. A two play, 92 yard drive for the Scottish Claymores. And the Berlin Thunder will now start at their own 22, first and 10. Justin Watson in the game at running back, tries the right side for a couple of yards on first down. Both Watsons did well running the football last week. Justin Watson, a 5.1 yard average. Edwin Watson, 3.4. Justin Watson, a member of the San Diego Chargers, and it is second down and eight now. Four wide receivers in the game for Berlin. Where three step over to Bowman. Bowman, big cushion over there, allows him to get a first down. Norris Mosley with the defense. And what they do over here, Ray, is they can come up with four wide receivers and they walk out the linebacker over here. So you have the linebacker on the slot receiver, then the Norse Mosley gets too, too much depth in his drop, allows room for Bowman on the sidelines. Ball at the 36 yard line, first and 10. The Thunder stay in the four wide receiver package. Justin Watson up the middle for two. Brought down by John Hess. You know, the strength of the Scottish Claymore's defense is in their linebacking crew. These guys are a pretty good bunch. You have Alan Campos, spent some time with the Dallas Cowboys. Matt Finkus was with the Jets in 97, and John Hess, which was allocated by the Rams, was a practice squad guy in 97 and 98. But they're, they're a good group, and they fly around to the ball. Second and eight, where? From the shotgun. Going to the corner for Andre Roan, incomplete. Ivory with good coverage. The Pier Berlin is trying to get something established up front with the running game. They try to come out and buy themselves some room. And then after that, they found themselves in trouble. Jermaine Benoit checks in at the right end. They'll try to put some pressure on Andre Ware on third down and eight. Where? Over the middle. Dropped by Roan. I think he was going for his tight end, Isaac Curtis. And there is confusion over there. You see Andre Ware's a little bit upset. That ball, needless to say, was very catchable. Right through the hands of Roan. Charlie Pierce on to punt. Joey Ellums back to receive for Scotland. Low snap, bad snap. Pierce is trying to stay alive, and he's going to throw this one, and it is complete. And there are flags down. Well, what you're going to have. Patrick Thomas made the reception, but what you have is ineligible man downfield because the whole front was down there covering the kick. An eligible receiver downfield prior to the pass, offense, the entire offensive line, five yard penalty, repeat, fourth down. Pierce would have been better off just to kick that thing. He had the time. It was a bad snap. You can see it in the ground. And Pierce, get your body in front of it. You know how they teach in Little League Baseball? Yeah. Get your body in front of it. He just got an arm on there and it set the thing loose and then Claudius Wright missed him. And he had some time, Ray, as you said, as he was scrambling to the sideline to kick that thing. 
Jason McIndoo is the long snapper for Berlin. And he drills it this time, and Pierce gets it off. A high booming kick. Ellums from the 30. And he is hit right away by Cedric Clark with a big special teams play. Scotland will take over at their own 32. If you're surfing the net, check out NFLEurope.com for all the latest news and information. Have you ever have you solved your internet problem, Bill? Still haven't solved the internet problem, but my understanding is that NFLEurope.com is exciting. And it gives you in-depth analysis, everything you need to know what's going on over here in NFL Europe. Following your players that are allocated by your NFL teams over here, see their progress and what they're doing, the standings. I understand you can buy a program, Popcorn, follow the games, peanuts, you can get it all. <laughs> Alan shaking up on that punt return. As Damian Craig takes the Claymores on first and ten. Yo Murphy in motion, and now the flag comes out again. Delay a game, offense, five yard penalty remains, first down. And they were huddled up for a long time on that sideline. You know, over here, the clock is a little bit faster. In between plays, instead of the 40 seconds in between plays, it's 35 second clock, as you can take a look. That's the thing that really you have to get accustomed to over here if you're an offensive player, especially a quarterback, is getting them to the line of scrimmage. First and 15, Damian Craig underneath, incomplete. Looking for Yo Murphy. Vernon Strickland came up and put it to Murphy. Yo Murphy was 96 World Bowl MVP for the Scottish Claymores. But three touchdowns in that game. Over 160 yards. He was up in camp in Minnesota the last two years. He got cut this year. And he's back over here to try to make another go at it. Craig changes his formation on second and 15. Drops back and throws it outside. Almost picked off. John Williams came up and almost took it from Yo Murphy. Johnny Williams did everything right on that play except catch the ball. Here's Johnny Williams right here. He's given a little ground off the ball to Yo Murphy. Now watch the break on the ball as Yo Murphy takes it to the outside. Now that, that, that was a big shot right there to help his offense out and change that field position for him. Third and 15. Damian Craig with pressure stays alive and finds yo murphy across the middle for a big first down for the claymore We're talking to jim kreiner yesterday kreiner said you know this quarterback isn't a quarterback with happy feet this is a pocket passing quarterback who has the ability to scramble and make things happen when the pocket closes around him watch the pocket close there's larry towns and gets a hand on him craig is able to stay alive move up and find his receiver. A 16-yard completion. Craig to Murphy, first and 10. Scotland from their own 44. Toss to Jesse Haynes. Haynes tries to cut back, and he'll get one on first down. Good pursuit from the Berlin Thunder defense. Jomo Cousins getting up off of that pile. And for Scotland, you know, their offense, Ray, it's the two-fold phase. Normally, Jim Kreiner's offense is that run it out, run it out, grind it out, and then play action. This year, they seem a little different. I think the reason they are different is because of Damian Craig. They're able to do a lot more offensively with that athletic style at quarterback. Second down and eight. Play action with Damian Craig. Dumps it to his tight end, Sean Bell. Sean Bell with a big reception up to the 31 yard line and Damian Craig as you said Bill showing you things out there in space well I talked about that athletic quarterback and watch remember the last play Ray they went this way well they faked the ball this way again then it's bootleg out the back door and look at the look at the Berlin Thunder they're all over to the left of the screen Damian Craig by in time finds his tight end crossing Sean Bell across the middle John Bell, property of the San Francisco 49ers. Got three balls for 15 last week. This one went for 23, first and 10. Craig, three-step drop over the middle for Sellers. Oh, 
What a hit. Sellers hung on to it. Van Washington came up and put it on Donald Sellers, and he hung on, a former quarterback. Property of the Rams. And Washington's wobbling around a little bit. <laughs> I love that. Damian Craig takes a little lick of his own right here as he lets go of this ball. Tom Tovo puts his helmet right in his chest, and Craig's looking downfield. I'll tell you, Sellers had six catches last week, and this is one athletic receiver. And Washington came out of the game after that hit as Jesse Haynes tries the right side. Yeah, in, in that case, it was better to be the hitter than hit E. So it'll be second and goal from just outside the five yard line as the Claymores moving the football again under the arm of Damian Craig. Cooper to the right, Murphy to the left. Haynes on a trap, squirts his way close to the end zone. Touchdown, Scotland. Jesse Haynes, his second touchdown of the day. Rob Hart will come on and attempt the extra point. There's the trap play, Nathan Parks on the lead. He gets the kick out, and Jesse Haynes just takes it right up inside. Nice block by the tight end, 88, Sean Bell. High snap, nice hold from Drake. The kick is up and good. And it's been all Scotland thus far. They lead the Berlin Thunder 14 to nothing. There's quarterback Chuck Clements, the Denver allocated quarterback. He's the sixth quarterback taken in a 97 draft by the New York Jets out of the University of Houston. And Wes Chandler said, hey, I have to get this guy reps too. And he's allocated over here by Denver to play, and I have to see what he can do. I saw him in training camp. He was efficient. Rob Hart with another short kickoff. Harris takes it on the 22. George Harris squirts up past the 30 to the 33-yard line before Ben Snell makes the play. These Scottish kickoffs haven't been very efficient, though. No. Andre Ware stays in the game, and it is too early to, to pull your quarterback. He's had some drop passes. The offense hasn't clicked yet early in the first quarter. Even though you're down 14, you don't change things up yet. You still stay with your game plan. You don't panic right now. You don't come out just heaving the ball downfield. You stay with your game plan. You go about things methodically. First down and 10, Andre Ware. Play action, Ware on the bootleg, being chased down. Shatoni Sargent, but no, Ware gets it off. And it is caught by Andre Rome. Gain of eight on the play. There is nothing more antagonizing than when you are on the arms of the quarterback, pulling him down, and he throws one and somehow gets completed. He's 10 yards deep. That's a pulling him down, has him by the feet, does everything perfect, perfect to Tony Sargent. And Andre Ware somehow gets that ball downfield. Second down and one. Ware throws the out. That's a dangerous one. Looking for Andre Roan. Norse Mosley was not faked at all by that. They had that thing covered. In last week, opening week in NFL Europe, the Frankfurt Galaxy over these Berlin Thunder by a 21-20 count. Barcelona behind Lawrence Phillips ran it up on Amsterdam. And these Scottish Claymores with a big comeback win over last year's defending champion, the Rhine Fire, 21-20. Brings up a third down and one. Berlin spreads it out with four wide receivers. Edwin Watson behind Ware. Quick pass to Roan. Roan. Reaches for the first down yardage. It looks like he got it. John Hess, along with the Norse Mosley, on the coverage. Look the other side. And it is the first down. You hear Wes Chandler. He says, "Look the other side." And who was referring to was the quarterback Andre Ware. You have to check one side first and free some people to buy yourself some room. 
That ball, you can see, it was thrown tight. There was a lot of people around him. It was close. They got the first down, however, but the play wasn't executed correctly. Four wide receivers, three to the top, one to the bottom, and this is Edwin Watson. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go at all. Jermaine Benoit and Alan Campos combined for that stop. So far, it has been all Claymores here in Berlin. Second down and 10. Andre Ware, three-step drop with a pump fake. And now he's going deep, looking for Tyrone Taylor. Taylor's got it at the seven-yard line. Tyrone Taylor, his second catch of the season, a big one. Andre Ware, watch the pump fake here. Pump fake, that freezes the, the corner and the safety, then the big hurl downfield. Tyrone Taylor runs under this. That's a perfectly thrown ball and a great over-the-shoulder catch by Taylor. First and goal for the Thunder. Edwin Watson off the right side. Good penetration coming from Aaron De La Torre. This no offensive game. line of the Berlin Thunder Ray, last week we saw them, in, and they were knocking some people off the ball. They were opening holes. Edwin Watson was a big, powerful running back that ran up in there with a, some authority. I don't see that today. I don't, I don't see that roll coming off the line of scrimmage from the Berlin offensive line. They're coming off, they're making contact, and then there's not, no movement whatsoever. Second down and goal from the seven. Berlin very successful in the red zone last week. Ware throws it outside. This is a touchdown. Anthony Rogers. I don't know how that ball got through there. I don't either. I thought the ball was being thrown to the tight end, Isaac Curtis. So Cruza on to add the extra point. And he does. And the crowd loves it. Cruza, a soccer star here in Germany. And Berlin back on the board now. It is 14 to 7. The Scottish Claymores with the lead. Take a look at that touchdown. This pass from where they flood the side. There's three receivers over there. I thought it was to Isaac Curtis. And the ball somehow got through to Anthony Rogers. Look, everybody's looking. Curtis is confused. The defensive backs are confused. No one knows how the heck that ball got in there. Except maybe Andre Ware. At least that's what he'll tell you. Well, I was going for him the whole time. Anthony Rogers. His first touchdown. Our property of the San Diego Chargers. Gets Berlin on the board. Also, the big play, a 51-yarder in that drive. Tyrone Taylor hooking up from Andre Ware. And Andre Ware turned it up a notch in that drive. Rodgers was a project for West Chandler. Really, he's been working with this guy. Then, well, I don't think West taught him that. That's a look like a little giddy-up action right there. Get on that pony and ride it. <laughs> David Akers will kick off for Berlin. This is Yo Murphy from his seven. And they'll run the reverse. They'll fake the reverse. And Murphy finds room on the right side. He's at the 40. He's got the kicker to beat. He beats the kicker. Forced out of bounds at the 42-yard line. A little razzle-dazzle from the Claymores on special teams. A 63-yard return. The special teams came up big last week for the Claymores in their punt. There's the fake reverse, and then there's nobody outside. There's Jamie Reeder getting a nice block downfield. Then Yo Murphy has the sidelines, and the kicker to beat. Let the kicker hold him up just enough to get knocked out of bounds. A 
That last drive by Berlin, seven play, 68 yards, ate up three minutes and 39 seconds off the clock. And again, the Claymores have trouble. Charge timeout, Scotland. This is their first charge team timeout. This is a 30 second timeout. They're having trouble getting the play in the huddle on the sideline, Bill, and then getting out there onto the field. So Damian Craig uses that timeout rather than lose five yards. And that field position that we talked about is in the favor of Scotland right now. They'll start this drive on the Berlin 40 three yard line. Those are special teams last week, primarily the punting team. They had a 47 yard average, Chris Dolan did, and one of the punts actually resulted in a Scotland touchdown. We come out of here today and you have the fake reverse, great field position on the kickoff return. 11 seconds left in the first quarter. This is Snell, Ben Snell, taking the handoff, picking up three yards. And that is the end of the first quarter. The Scottish Claymores, 14, the, the Berlin the Thunder, quarter. 7. We'll be back with second quarter action in just a moment. Beautiful Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, Germany. As nightfall is beginning to come upon us, we, we, we saw that site and every other site in Berlin, <laughs> Germany yesterday. We did take the tour. Thank you to our driver, Dirk. A hey. little, little problem finding his way around, but we did get to see a lot of nice stuff. Well, it wasn't a three-hour tour. <laughs> it was a five-and-a-half-hour tour. We saw every nook and cranny Berlin has to offer. And then some. Second down and eight for Damian Craig. He's four of six for 148 yards and a touchdown on the day. And he'll throw again. All day long, throws it outside to his tight end, Bell. Sean Bell gets up to the 35-yard line before Philip Ward wrestles him down. Excuse me, Emory Smith checking into the ball game at tight end. He'll play backup tight end as well as fullback for the Claymores. Uh, you give any quarterback in any league that much time, you're going to complete your passes. He just sat in that pocket. There was nobody around him at all. He's scanning the whole field over. And anytime you have that opportunity to do that, it buys time for your receivers to get away. Because at some point in time, that defensive back is going to look back to see what's happening. And then there's going to be separation. Third and three. Craig. Running out of time, escapes. And finds a wide open Emory Smith. And Smith picks up another first down. Two catches in a row for Emory Smith up to the 21-yard line. John Williams made the defensive play. Talk about frustration. You're a defensive lineman, and you're trying to rush the passer. You have to get past those big offensive linemen, 330 pounds. And you're rushing a quarterback, and then you get back there, and he's not there. Just as you think you're going to close the pocket, you see the rush inside, and then he's there. Larry Townsend thinks he has him. And then Craig looks like he's taken off has the presence to throw the ball before he hits the line of scrimmage. And know where he is. First and 10, play action. Craig looking for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Sean Bell. Frustration on Wes Chandler's face. One of the things Wes Chandler's talked to us about the last two weeks is his big concern of the defensive secondary. Here's Bell. Watch him stretch the middle of the field. Splits the safeties in the middle. Roderick Thomas not over, Van Washington not over. That's one of the toughest things when you have a tight end that can run the middle against cover two. Rob Hart, perfect this year on extra points. Adds yet another. And the Scottish Claymores answer back and take a 21 to seven lead over the Berlin Thunder. Well, I seen the blocker that was covered. John Bell come on, the on the phone to San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> Did you see that? What he says? What do you think about that? How do you, how do you like me now? Guy had a tough week last week. Dropped three balls that were very catchable. Back.
had a good first half so far. And Scotland will try Chris Dolan of the Bears to kick off again. Harrison Watson deep. And this is Watson, Justin Watson. He fumbles it. And Berlin gets on it. All right, let's check it. I don't know. Yeah. I think Scotland might have got that thing out of there. And they did. Just get off him, Ronnie. Get off. Find out who comes up with it. And that is Roel Blendman, wide receiver. Makes the big special teams recovery, and Scotland will take another shot from the 27. You talk about those Scottish special teams coming up big again. There's Justin Watson. The ball gets stripped out by Blenman and then taken away at the bottom of the pile by Blenman as well. So Damian Craig looking to add to his numbers brings the Scottish offense out from the 27 yard line first and 10. And they'll run the reverse to Donald Sellers. And Sellers picks up four yards. Nice job of staying home. Roderick Thomas. Well you talked about adding to Craig's numbers. Not bad numbers. Not bad at all. You know, the thing about this Scottish offense, like we talked about earlier, the multiplicity of it. They can come at you a bunch of different directions because they now have an athletic quarterback that can do, do that. They can still run the ball at you hard, and then they come with all the other stuff. Second and seven. Jesse Haynes to the left side. Makes the corner up to the 20-yard line. John Williams and Vernon Strickland force him out. Andre Ware trying to motivate his team, be that leader. Come on, D. Come on. Come on, defense. They're down in three yards. Yo Murphy in motion. Damian Craig tucks it under. He picks up a first down up to the 13-yard line before Israel Stanley and John Williams bring him down. Now, I'm not so sure if that wasn't a design play. I, I, watch, I see the blocking. If you watch the tight end to the top of the screen, he releases, and then he turns in on the linebacker. Look at the guy's block. See them blocking, the blocking, blocking? I mean, that's, that's the different aspects you can do with a quarterback that can move as well as Damian Craig can. Moved well last week, scored the winning touchdown, and he's moving again on a bootleg. Shakes one defender, stays alive, and throws backside incomplete. Jomo Cousins had the pressure. Well, that, that's that bootleg again, Ray, and you see the Berlin defense. I, I'm telling you, these guys, I know. I'm not out there, but I know how they're feeling right now. This is frustration. Here's the fake handoff. Look, everybody's down here except Jomo Cousins. He shakes loose of Jomo Cousins. Look, there's no Berlin players around at all. They're all going on the play action fake. And Damian Craig rolls out the backside. Second and 10. From the 13, Damian Craig. Drops it off to Yo Murphy underneath. Murphy breaks a tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Scotland. Third touchdown pass of the day for Damian Craig. They can't stop him. I tell you, this young man's impressive. Well, I saw the coach's film last week, and I liked everything he did. Ray, we were sitting in film watching and saying, man, this kid looks pretty doggone good. And he hasn't let us down today. What a display from Damian Craig and his receivers. So Rob Hart comes on. To add yet another extra point, his seventh of the year, and he remains perfect. Here's Craig on the, here's Joe Murphy. He's looking downfield, and Yo on the crossing route underneath. Linebacker can't keep up with him. 
Yo walks right into the end zone. And then Damian Craig, I'm, you know, this league, the NFL, is always looking for the quarterbacks that can make something happen. That's the trend now. You, you saw with Doug Flutie in Jacksonville, they got Brunel. John Elway was doing it for years. Steve Young came in on the picture. Brett Favre, guys that can make something happen besides just sitting in a quarterback position, sitting in the pocket, throwing downfield. Make something else happen. Yo Murphy, no stranger to touchdowns. He had three in the World Bowl in 1996. Seven catches, 163 yards, and three touchdowns as Scotland, with Jim Ballard at quarterback, beat the Frankfurt Galaxy to win the title. Murphy on the day, two grabs, 31 yards, and the touchdown. That's today. And he's probably not done. No, I don't think that guy's done either. Over here to learn What's how to up, play James? quarterback. That three for you, little boy. Always Playing up, underneath baby. the center at Auburn, of course. Everything he did was out of the shotgun. Rob Hart, another wobbly kickoff. Taken by Justin Watson, who fumbled the last one. Watson up to the 30-yard line. For he is brought down by Terry Rice Lockett. Damian Craig, 8 of 11, 202 yards, and those three touchdowns. You see that? Right. And there's plenty of time left. You see underneath his chin there on his collar? That's a symbol. That's a Carolina Panther symbol. And all the allocated players have that symbol on their collar where the NFL symbol usually is. See it right there? And then also on the backs of their helmet. First and 10 from the 30 yard line. It's kind of a badge of honor to wear one of those as Chuck Clement is coming in at quarterback. Chuck Clements, property of the Denver Broncos, incomplete on his first pass attempt as Berlin's going to try and shake this thing up and get something started. Chuck Clements, you know, trying to look for some kind of spark. You know, when you're down. This much by 21, three touchdowns, you know, why not? Hey, now's a good opportunity to see what can happen with this kid. Actually, we saw him in training camp. He was sharp. Second down and 10, Clements working out of the shotgun. And throws this one, looking for Tyrone Taylor, knocked away by John Hess. You better talk and you better get after somebody there. Let's go. Alert fun. Hey, 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 hey. Yoli's. Dennis Danielson. Trying to rally his troops. The line coach for the Berlin Thunder. Third down and 10 now. Clements 0 for 2 since entering the ball game on this series. Has four wide receivers. The blitz comes. He unloads. He hits Tyrone Taylor. Taylor with a first down up close to midfield. Second grab of the day for Tyrone Taylor. And now they're in a tough situation, too, because they've got a lot of ground to make up. Here's Taylor in the slot. He sits down right at about the first down marker, turns to the quarterback, ball's thrown nicely, and Tries to pick up a few extra yards, but for Berlin, this is all they can do. Chuck Clements, one of three. First down and ten. He'll throw again. Underthrows Tyrone Taylor, a dangerous one. Lee Wiggins almost picked that one off. Pressure on the play coming from Jermaine Benoit. Might have affected Clements' throw. Well, heck, you know, four wide receivers. Let me out there. <laughs> you think you can still get out oh, to the yeah. quarterback? Oh, yeah. Anytime huh? you got these situations where you know a team has to pass, that's when you want to play defensive line. There's Benoit, number 75. That's his specialty, rushing a pass where he got on the edge of the tackle there and just closed the pocket. Had a sack to end the game last week for Scotland. Second and 10, Clements throws the post. Anthony Rogers juggles and drops. <laughs> All these players are over here for a reason. And there's always a story with each player on why. Some have had injuries and are trying to get back. 
Some have never made it and are trying to get into the NFL. Some didn't have the coaching techniques properly at some of their schools. Some have changed positions. Everybody has a reason that they're here. But there's no excuse for concentration. And a lot of the things that mistakes being made that I see on Berlin right now are just concentration. Third down and 10. Clements dumps underneath looking for Justin Watson. Incomplete. Brings up fourth down now. Charlie Pierce will come on and punt us away. Well, everybody wants to play at the next level. But it's the desire to want to do it and put the time in to do it, to do everything correctly, to do everything right. Anytime you step on that field, whether it be practice, game situation, you know, Ray, you have to be focused. Joe Murphy focusing on the punt. Short and high. A little backspin, and it'll go out of bounds at the 27-yard line. And that is where the Scottish Claymores will take over. They have a 28-7 lead over Berlin. Welcome back to Jan Stadion, Berlin, Germany. Ray Bentley along with Bill Moss, and it's been all Scotland. Four drives, four touchdowns so far. You can't just come off the shelf. Use your hands. Play some football. Make the catch. You got to make the tough catch. Pay your price. Stand up and be counted. Well, you're talking about a guy that knows what it talks about. Pay the price. That's Wes Chandler. That's what I was talking about earlier. There's no excuse for some of the things that I've seen happen, and Wes is letting them know about it. First and 10, go the Claymores. Haynes cuts back, squirts his way up to the 32-yard line. He still wants to go. Haynes with the Kansas City Chiefs. And, and, and the fact that paying that price. Over the years, a lot of guys that are allocated come here because they can get practice. See the Kansas City Chiefs symbol right there? They can get some reps here. Look at by year by year how the number of allocated players has increased because the NFL realizes this is a great proving ground for some young players. They're not getting the reps they need at their position on scout team during the week in the NFL. Damian Craig proving it today as Haynes takes another handoff. This time he is met in the backfield by Cedric Clark. No game. And Scotland obviously trying to get their ground game going with a comfortable lead. Now let's work on the other aspects of the game. You saw what they can do throwing the ball. Now Jim Kreiner wants to get that offensive line in a groove, coming off the ball, realizing who to pick off, get the scrapes up on the linebacker, pound the ball out, get this running game going so this offensive line can gel together. Third down and six. Yo Murphy in motion. Craig to Sellers. Sellers. He'll lose yardage. Damian Craig is slow to get up on this one. He took a shot. They tried to run the flanker screen. And three and out is exactly what Berlin needed defensively. And Chris Dolan will come on to punt. Dolan, the leading punter in NFL Europe. Mike Bowman back at his 20 to receive. That's a boomer. Bowman takes it at the 19. He'll get six yards on the return before Ben Snell makes the special teams tackle, his second special teams tackle of the day. And now Berlin Thunder will try to get something going offensively. There is a flag down on that punt. Back at the line of scrimmage. Tony Carrente talking with Chuck Clements. They're going to re-kick it. An eligible member of the kicking team downfield prior to the kick. Five-yard penalty replay, fourth down. So Dolan will get another shot, as will Mike Bowman. I didn't see that on the punt. I thought they held up pretty good. The Flyers got off. The player was number 97. The center. 97. Center Jim Hoffman started downfield before that kick got off. Uh, 
So they'll back it up five. And Chris Dolan will do his thing again. And he slips and shanks it, but it takes a Claymore bounce, and it'll end up just about where it was before the penalty. A fortuitous bounce for Chris Dolan. And they'll mark it at the 27-yard line, and that is where Chuck Clements and the Berlin Thunder offense will try to get back into this thing. This plant, plant foot starts sliding. The plant foot never planted. You got to plant the plant foot in order to keep your balance. You don't plant the plant foot, the punt will never grow. First down and 10. Clements with three wide receivers in the game. Ronan Bowman at the bottom. Clements rolls to his right. Throws this deep, looking for Bowman. Incomplete. Nice coverage. Lee Wiggins, the safety, coming over and breaking it up late. Mike Bowman had a, an excellent training camp, caught a number of long balls, and really was shut down last week by Frankfurt, just had two catches for 16 yards. Personal foul, chop block, number 45, offense. Penalty be assessed half the distance to the goal. Repeat, first down. Edwin Watson, guilty of a chop block. The mistakes keep mounting for Berlin. This moves the ball all the way back to the 13 yard line. First and forever, Clements out of the shotgun. Pressure's on, he dumps the middle screen. Edwin Watson with the grab, works his way up past the 20 to the 23 yard line before Steve Rosga brings him down. Clements was lucky to get that ball off. He had Jim Hoffman all over him and got that thing off at the last second, back all the way at the goal line. There's Hoffman, 97, off the end. Has a fist full of Clements. Lucky to get it away. Second down and 14. Clements from the shotgun. Throws it out for Mike Bowman. Bowman juggles it and can't hang on. Denorse Mosley with tight coverage. Nice use of the hands by Mosley. And Mosley was burnt twice last week by the Rhine Fire in, in the first touchdown he gave up as well. He had a rough go. Jim Kreiner said it was mostly due to technique. You see the break on the ball there, nice. He wraps up and takes the hands of Bowman away as he's trying to pull that in. Third and 13. Clements maneuvering in the pocket, throws it out. He connects with Bowman Mosley right there. And this will be short of a first down. And the Thunder will have to punt it away again. <laughs> the Scottish Claymore front four. Put some heat. Yeah, they're bringing it. Of course, it's obvious passing downs, obvious pass situations, but nonetheless, you still have to get past those offensive linemen, and they're doing that. They're closing the pocket quick on Clements. Charlie Pierce on the punt. Yo Murphy back at his 23, set to receive. Donald Sellers with a rush, and they'll call holding. Sellers was held as Murphy takes it on the 25. Trying to get the corner. And he does all the way up to the 36 yard line before he is brought down. But there is a flag back at the 23 yard line. And Donald Sellers, we saw him on film almost block a couple of punts last week. Got held as he almost got to that one. But well, he didn't get those calls last week. And anytime you don't get the calls last week, you're going to get them the next week. You show the same kind of effort, and the same circumstances arise, it'll fall your way. Pretty good field position, though. And 11 Claymore's with that return. They could very well Holding define this. Number 22 on the kicking team, 
The penalty has been declined. First down. Penalty was on George Harris. And as you said, Bill, it is declined. The Claymore. Five drives, four touchdowns. Damian Craig. See if he unwraps the arm again with 346 left here in the first half. This half's flying by. Damian Craig has completed passes to five different receivers thus far. First and ten, Jamie Reeder, his first carry from the fullback spot. He'll gain two yards. If you want to keep track of your favorite NFL players in NFL Europe, simply get on the internet, dial up NFLEurope.com for the latest news and information. If you're watching the game, you want a program, just print one off. It's really that simple, isn't it? So they say. <laughs> uh, second down and eight. Craig. Going long, looking for Yo Murphy. And the flag is out. Interference on John Williams as Murphy had him beat by a step. Pass interference, defense number 21. First down. There's John Williams on Yo Murphy. That ball's coming in. He just swats his hands before the ball gets there. Never got his head turned back. They'll call you every time. So it's a huge play for the Claymores. They go first and 10 from the 17 yard line of Berlin. Ben Snell off to the left side. Brought down by John Williams. Ben Snell, a relative of Matt Snell with the old New York Jets. New York Jets, yeah. Played with Joe Namath on that championship team in the late 60s. Snell, property of the Baltimore Ravens. Born in Canton, Ohio. You think he's destined for the Hall of Fame someday? He's got to keep working. Got a long road to go. Second down and six. Damian Craig changing the signals. Green, green, 24. Hot. You throw the slant. It get, gets batted at the line of scrimmage and doesn't get to Donald Sellers. Claudius Wright with the coverage. Claudius Wright with some tight coverage here on Donald, Donald Sellers. Sellers on the slant. It looks like Claudius Wright had his hands all over him trying to pull him around. He actually gets away with one. And Israel Stanley tipped that ball. Then you can, you can make contact. Third down and six. Craig. Going to the end zone. Another touchdown. Sean Bell, his second of the day. Four now for Damian Craig. Damian Craig making it look real easy. A 13-yarder. And if they make this extra point, it'll be a new NFL Europe League record for points in a half. There's tight end Bell down the seam again, breaking to the outside, loses the safety. Rob Hart still perfect on the year and it is now 35 to 7 the Scottish Claymores all over the Berlin Thunder John Bell, his second touchdown reception of the day. Four touchdown passes for Damian Craig. 35 points. That's an NFL Europe League record for points and a half. As Rob Hart will kick this deep. George Harris and Justin Watson. 
And they're moved way up to their 12 yard line as Scotland. The only problem they've had today is kicking off. Watson takes it at the 12. Up the middle to the 35 yard line. Bernard Russ with a special teams tackle. What a day so far for Damian Craig. Incredible numbers. Yeah, point to those numbers too. And they're the kind of numbers that uh, you almost see yourself. Hey, I'll sit out the second half. New NFL Europe League record. We can't give them back any possession. And Berlin is struggling. They'll try to get it going as Chuck Clements stays in at quarterback. Out of the shotgun, Clements. Dumps it out late to Marcus Hinton. Hinton up past midfield. Chuck Clements is a pocket closer to Adam. Showing a little mobility of his own. By in time. Flirting with that line of scrimmage, too. Got right up there on it before he threw that ball. Berlin at the 49 yard line of Scotland. Would like to score with just a minute 41 left in the first half to get back into this game some way, somehow. Clements. Over the middle. Connects with Andre Rohn. Rohn up to the 35. Steve Rosga on the defense. And Berlin will take a timeout. Timeout. Berlin. This is their first charge team timeout. This is a 30 second timeout. You got to play in zone. You got to find the hole in the zone. You got two timeouts. All right. You got two timeouts. But you got, you got time on the kill. All right, you gotta haul a clock and kill it. Gotcha. Right, All right, right, you gotta haul a clock and kill it. That buy your time. Right, right. Okay. Gotcha. Clock automatically starts back now once they get it set. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So it's an incomplete pass, so you go back to the huddle. Right. Once you kill it, you go. It's an incomplete pass. You go right. to the huddle. Right. Okay. okay. What? Two timeouts left. Yeah, I, I, I know. Oh, you gotta be smart. As you heard him say, two timeouts left for each team. As Chuck Clements, a little baptism under fire. First and 10 from the 35. And the flags are out again. And a false start against the Thunder. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense number 18. Five yard penalty remains first down. Anthony Rogers. With the game clock operator, please reset the game clock to 128. 128. Thank you. So back Berlin up to the 40 yard line, first and 15. <laughs> Three wide receivers in the game. The tight end, Isaac Curtis, spread to the right side. Clements going for the corner. Looking for Taylor, short and incomplete. And the pressure was coming again. You know what the motivating factor is for a score here before the half? So you don't get yelled at? Not as you're, much. You're, you're going to exactly get right. at, but Yeah, you, you want to try to lessen the blow at halftime. <laughs> exactly. Because your coach has just put up with the most miserable half of football he's probably ever seen and these guys have ever been associated with. You want to try to lessen the impact of that screaming. Second and 15, Clements dumps it outside. This is Justin Watson. Watson gets a first down before he's forced out of bounds. <laughs> Ball down to the 24 yard line. Minute 13 left in this first half. Which has seen Scotland set a league record for scoring points. 
and the ears are laid back on that defensive line. Clements, flag again. I believe they called him again. Prior to the snap, false start. Number 67 offense, five yard penalty remains first down. Brent Warren, the number 67. The game clock operator, please reset the game clock to 114, 114. Well, they gained a second somewhere along the line. Jim Hoffman comes out of the lineup for Scotland. Clements looking over the middle, complete to Andre Rowe, Steve Rosga on the defense. We're gonna try to run up here and clock the ball. They still have two timeouts, but they will clock the ball and it'll stop with 55 seconds left in the first half. Well, they get a shot to run a couple plays and then use one of the timeouts in an attempt for the end zone and use the second one. If all else fails on a field goal, but field goal at this point in the game, I don't think adds much to it. I, I, I think you try to use those those timeouts if you can't clock the ball down here, you use those attempts to go at the end zone. Second down and goal from the 10. Clements forced out of the pocket by Brad Keeney. And this is intercepted. Matt Fink, Finkus. Finkus had a big play last week, a touchdown on a fumbled punt return. Comes up with another big play, an interception. Finkus, Finkus was just rolling in the zone coverage back there. Following the quarterback, steps right in front of his throw. Here's Finkus. Watch him drop back and just ease his way over with the quarterback. Steps right in front of. I'm not sure who that ball was intended to. I think to. Anthony Rogers was crossing in the end zone, but that was. It looked like it was behind him. It was just to him. Behind him and short. It looks like it was intended for Finkus. Scotland content to keep it on the ground with Ben Snell. Thirty-five to seven, Scotland over Berlin. Late here in the first half. Snell again. Up to the 20 yard line. And that, that is, is the end, end of, of the first, the first half. half. Which was all Scotland. So the score at halftime from Berlin, Scotland 35, Berlin. Seven. Been all Claymore so far. Kicking this one to Yo Murphy and Joey Ellums. Scotland set an NFL Europe League record, 35 points in that first half. Damian Craig, four touchdown passes. Akers. Hits this to Yo Murphy. Murphy from his five. Fakes that reverse again. It worked once. They'll try it again, and it does work again. Up to the 40. Cut back. Murphy. Up to the 49-yard line on the return. Let's take a look at the locker room. You want to know what it's like to be behind by 28 at halftime? Here's Wes Chandler. I mean, what's the deal here? Never seen the game before? 
you feeling sorry for yourselves is where you are right now. So instead of being mad and pissed off about what you're hearing me say, you should be pissed off about your performance. That's what this is about. We just lay down and die. Go ahead, kick the dirt on us, and bury us. Because that's where we are right now. You got your head between your legs, in the dumps. Some of you have already quit. Some of you just waiting on the time. Jesse Haynes on first and 10 gets across midfield. Bill, you've been in there. Yeah, I don't think you've ever played football and haven't been in a halftime where you get the speeches like that. And, you know, it, it's it's all due, too, because what he's talking about is exactly how Berlin's played. And they, they're not responding. That, that's the key thing. They come out on the opening kickoff. I mean, that that's the tempo setter. Special teams sets the tempo, and they go down there and b fight again on that fake reverse. Gave up a 44-yard return to Yo Murphy, putting the Claymores in good field position. Second down and seven. Gain of one yard up the middle. You take that a look at the Jamie first Reader. staff stats here, Ray. You can see it's all pretty even. They, they haven't rushed the ball well, and then the turnovers is really what's killed them. And 14 Claymore points have come off those turnovers. You take those turnovers away, take away 14 points, and you learn to run the ball a little bit better, you'd have a different game, plus the penalties. Berlin has been hit with penalties in the first half. Five penalties in that first half. Third and six, Damian Craig looking for Yo Murphy over the middle. It's complete, but it is short, about a yard short, and Coach Kreiner has a decision. Well, you don't have much to lose. You know, why not go for it? Good field position. You're in their territory. Two yards. Your offense has had the momentum every time they've had the ball. Not much of a gamble. And they will go for it. Fourth down and one. Damian Craig is going to try and run it himself out of the right side. It looks like he got it from here. We'll see where the mark is. They mark it at the 40-yard line. First down. Damian Craig. Second rush of the day for nine yards now. Damian Craig brings so much to the Scottish Playmore's team. And I think he'll bring that same thing to an NFL team. First down and 10. Three wide receivers in the mix. Damian Craig. Pump fake. Oh. And there is a flag out. <laughs> Scott Cooper got held over there. John Williams didn't want to get beat again. Well, John Williams bit on the pump fake, froze, and when he realized Scotty Cooper was going by him, just reached out and grabbed Cooper. And Williams comes out of the ball game. Pass interference, defense number 21. First down. Take a look at the schedule for NFL Europe week three coming up next week. Amsterdam at the Rhine Fire. This Berlin team will go to Barcelona and try to regroup. Frankfurt goes to Scotland where the Claymores will be riding high. Bar any unforeseen change in this one. First and 10 from the 25. They'll run the draw play. Jesse Haynes stays it, keeps it alive up inside the 20 yard line. I saw Jesse Haynes for the last two seasons in Kansas City. He was on the practice squad. Last year, Kansas City needed a running back when Marcus Allen retired. Jesse Haynes was going to be their guy. They gave him a shot in training camp, and they really found him electrifying on the practice squad. But given the opportunity, he fumbled the ball too many times for Marty Schottenheimer to make him his starting running back. Second and four, Craig, play action. Looking for Donald Sellers. Sellers, touchdown, there is a flag. The play stands, it'll be the fifth touchdown pass on the day for Damian Craig. I think they might have Donald Sellers here pushing off. There was contact right around the goal line. Donald Sellers with the St. Louis Rams. I think he got Claudius right. Got a little push off there. 
That's what Wright thinks. Sellers was a quarterback, second team all whack, as a matter of fact, at New Mexico. And it is, you are right, Bill. It is on the offense. So finally, a break for the Thunder. Contact right about the line of scrimmage. And pretty that, looked, that looked pretty clear to me. <laughs> he did come back inside, but he didn't get much of a push. Pass interference, offense number four. 10 yard penalty, repeat, second down. That'll move the ball back to the 28 yard line. Donald Sellers not happy with that call. Can't say as I really blame him. Wiped out a touchdown pass. Second and 13. Yo Murphy in motion. Damian Craig. Craig escapes. Dumps it off over the middle of Sellers. Damian Craig keeps things alive and makes plays happen. This will be a first down for the Claymores. This film is going to catch someone's eye in Carolina. Perhaps George Seifert. Sure, you know, you're going to put in that West Coast offense down there, and, and you're going to look at this guy. This guy has got to remind him of Steve Young. Elusive, crafty, and also has the presence of what is going on while he's running full speed. It's as if the game slows down for him as he's running at full speed. First and 10 from the 12. Damian Craig dumps this one off. Again to Yo Murphy, Israel Stanley, along with Jomo Cousin combined for the tackle, and there is a flag down again. It's up there in the vicinity of holding at the line of scrimmage. The Claymore's huddle backs up. Most of the calls went against Berlin in the first Holding half. Offense, number 68, 10 yard penalty, repeat, first down. Brandon Dyson, left guard. Three penalties on Scotland for the day. Two of them coming on this drive. It'll back it up to first down and 20 as Damian Yo. Craig Yo. having a career here tonight. 12 of 17, 236, and those four touchdown passes. He's looking for another one. Throws it up over the middle, incomplete, knocked away by Schamberg. Cliff Schamberg took it away from Scott Cooper, incomplete. Actually, the R dropped off of Schamberger's uniform. He went from a burger to a bird. Don't get too close now where I can't maneuver, guys. Coach Kreiner coaching the cameraman as well today. See, that's what, that's what happens when you get burned. You go from a hamburger just to a bird. Second and long. Damian Craig zips it outside. That's complete to Donald Sellers. Claudius Wright with the coverage. Third and 13 from the 13. Sellers on the comeback, and Claudius Wright. Red zone, Scotland has had their way. Damian Craig dodges Henry Slay. Throws it up into the corner of the end zone, actually throws it away. You can't say enough 
about the escapability and mobility of Damian Craig, and then it gets dicey. You don't want a guy laying on your quarterback. Especially when your quarterback's thrown for four touchdowns. Well, he's just having fun out there. Look, he's, he's smiling. He doesn't care if he gets hit. He's running around. Heck, he hasn't been hit the whole game. He doesn't mind taking a blow. He gets up laughing. Look, and you can laugh. You know, when you're making guys fall down on their face and you're just leaving them in a trail of bodies behind you, yeah, you don't mind getting caught every now and once and again. And Rob Hart, last week's hero, kicking the winning extra point late in the game, will attempt a 31 yard field goal. And the barefooter from England splits the uprights. And the Claymores extend their lead. It is now 38 to 7. Welcome back to Berlin, Germany. Ray Bentley along with Bill Moss. We are watching the Scottish Claymores put it to the Berlin Thunder. Scoring drive, 10 plays, 37 yards. Capped off with a Rob Hart 31-yard field goal. And Hart will now kick this one away. You talk about the Scottish Claymores putting it to him. So I really think, believe it's been the play of their quarterback, Damian Craig. He's been outstanding. Hart. It's this to George Harris. Harris from the 15. And Harris gets forced out of bounds. You talked about Damian Craig, and they got to be looking at him in Carolina. He's property of the Panthers. Well, you look at the quarterbacks on the Carolina's rosters, and Burline and Bono, they've been around the league a lot. They've been around the league. They're journeyman quarterbacks who have been cut a lot of places. And then they picked up Jeff Lewis from Denver. And Matthew Lytle, the free agent they got after the draft, but you have to think that Jeff Lewis or Damian Craig's athletic ability and mobility is something that would catch the eye of George Seifert. In his offense, they put in that West Coast style offense. If he can grasp that offense, grasp the understanding, he could be something. Andre Ware comes out at quarterback to start the second half. His first pass, pass incomplete to Edwin Watson. Ware on the day, seven of 13 for 94 yards and a touchdown. Under threw that to Watson. You know, I thought that Andre Ware at the end of the first quarter had a nice drive, got him down there to get things going, get their first points on the board, and then they had the fumble, and that was it for him. A draw play to Watson. Watson up past the 30 to the 32 yard line. And that's exactly what they need, too. You, know, you saw the rushing yards we talked about at the end of the first half. We looked at those stats. If you just make it a one dimensional offense and you know that you're going to pass, it makes it pretty easy for a defense. But when you get them wavering between what's going to happen, is it going to be a run or a pass, such as Scotland is doing to Berlin's defense, then there's a problem. Third and five. Andre Ware. Throws it behind the receiver, Edwin Watson. Watson catches it, but there's a flag in the backfield in the area of holding. To play stands, it'll be a Berlin Thunder first down. I don't expect that. Preliminary signal was the hold. Number 77, holding, 10-yard penalty. Repeat, third down. Mike Edwards guilty of the holding as you look at the quarterback comparison, Chuck Clements and Andre Ware. Not much of a difference there except for the one interception by Clements. And Ware will try to get this done, third down and 15. Down the sideline, incomplete overthrows Andre Roan. And the Thunder, in their first drive in the second half, will have the punt. Maybe they want the dirt thrown on them. As West Chandler was talking about at halftime. They don't seem to have a lot of life out there as Charlie Pierce comes in to punt to Yo Murphy. It's all Thunder, no lightning. Pierce. Oh, 
off the side of his foot but it did it takes a Scotland actually a Berlin bounce down to the 39 yard line and that is where the Scottish Claymores will take over they lead 38 to 7. And they are doing the Mac Arena in Berlin Germany Jan Stadion as the Scottish Claymores it just got here. The, yeah the Mac Arena yeah, just, just, just hit. hit. <laughs> but they like it nonetheless. Scotland first and 10 from their own 40 yard line. Damian Craig. We'll hand this one off to Jesse Haynes. Haynes hops over the line with no gain. Let's take a look at some first half highlights. It was all Claymores. Jesse Haynes on this one early in the game, an 86 yard touchdown. Was it the second or third play of the game? And they, they knew right away that they could take advantage of the Berlin Thunder secondary. After that, Yo Murphy, a 13 yard touchdown reception from Damian Craig. And a little, little shake him up. Shaky, shaky, jiggy, jiggy. Second down and nine. And the whistle's blowing, the flags come out. <laughs> Prior to the snap, false start, number 67, offense. Five yard penalty, repeat, second down. Barry Stokes, left tackle. Stokes, property of the Miami Dolphins. Coach Kreiner called him what he thought maybe the best all around lineman in this league. And the best free agent acquisition for the Scottish Claymores. He hasn't played in three years. Last year, after surgery, he couldn't pass the team physical. Had to take three MRIs until they were satisfied. He is here and they're very satisfied. And Damian Craig goes down to the flag, goes down as well as Larry Townsend puts the wraps on Craig. First time he has been corralled behind the line all night. That, that's a prize. And hey, you know, that's a feather in your cap. You've been chasing this guy all over the field. He's been making you look like an idiot out there. Offense number 71 penalty is declined result of the play third down Nate Parks property of the Kansas City Chiefs caught holding play stands give Larry Townsend a sack there's 71 right there that's a that's a form tackle on Israel Stanley he's on the wrong side of the ball to be doing that Nathan third and very long Damian Craig with pressure again. Rolls out of the pocket. Downfield is re receiver slipped down and falls incomplete. He was looking for Donald Sellers. And that ball would have been completed had Donald Sellers not slipped. On that. Chris Dolan on the punt. Mike Bowman back at his 20 yard line to receive for the Berlin Thunder. And Dolan shanks another one but gets yet another good bounce. It rolls out at the 33 yard line but there is another flag on the play. There's the illegal man downfield again. You gotta wait to hear that punt come off the punter's foot before you can take off downfield get into coverage. You wait for the thump and you hope you don't get the double thump. Double thump, you turn and look for the ball. An eligible member of the kicking team downfield prior to the kick number 53. Five yard penalty remains fourth down. John Hess, St. Louis Rams linebacker. Playing special teams. That's what he did. He was actually active for the Rams for eight games last season. Debated whether he was going to give it up, decided he'd come back. He owed it to himself to take one more shot. Mike Bowman as the snap is fielded this time. And Bowman catches it on the run up to the 46 yard line. Excellent special teams tackle coming up Roel Blendman 
and yet another flag. And it is the same call. I thought you just explained that to him, Ray. I, I tried. You had to wait for the thump. If they got Hess again. Yep. Ineligible member of the kicking team downfield prior to the kick, number 73. Yeah, it wasn't Hess this time. Penalty has been accepted. Five yard penalty remains fourth down. I don't Except know. Except I don't have a, a set. Yeah, there is no there. 73. It, it might I, well have been. I think that was a courtesy call. I didn't yeah. want to embarrass him twice. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at Hess. Here's Hess over here, 53. No, it was actually 75. Benoit, Jermaine Benoit, who left early. So we'll back it up five more, and we'll let Chris Dolan do it again. Might be the most yards offensively the Berlin Thunder's gotten. Another bad snap, and Dolan. Gets it away, but there are again illegal men downfield. John Williams on the punt return. Williams crosses midfield down to the Thunder 42 yard line. Now the Thunder may just decline this one with good field position. And that was just a product of the bad snap. Center Jason. An eligible member of the kicking team illegally downfield prior to the kick, number 52. This penalty is declined. First down. Actually, it's Jim Hoffman with the bad snap. As the flags are all over the place here in Berlin. Claymore's 38, Thunder 7. Reichstag, the German parliament just recently reopened. We are in Berlin, Germany. Where the Scottish Claymores have a 38 to 7, a 31 point lead here in the third quarter. Berlin with the ball. Andre Ware back in at quarterback. He is 7 of 14, 94 yards, and a touchdown. Justin Watson in the backfield behind Ware. The blitz comes. Campos on the blitz from the outside. Ware gets rid of it, throws it short for Anthony Rogers. And speaking of the city of Berlin, we have some factoids for you. Very large city. And they play the local football bill, some of your favorite teams. Cobras, the Bears. You know what the thing that gets me is that 884 square km. Maybe, maybe you can tell me exactly what that is, Rick. Oh boy, it's about 500, no, uh, 56 miles and some change. How about that? 56 square miles and some change. If we have another flag on the play. It's like Berlin got an early start. And also, you know, it was first. They're going to call it on Scotland, I believe. First settled in 1237. You know, it's been America, a while. America, you know, we think neutral zone a little bit over 200 years old. 97 defense came into the neutral zone, causing an offensive player to jump. Five yard penalty remains second down. Jim Hoffman. All right, Tony, Tony lighting up him. on the flags there. We've gotten enough air time tonight. They march off five against Jim Hoffman. First or second down and five. Where goes to the shotgun. Throws it outside and connects with Anthony Rogers. Rogers with a lone score on the day. Moves it up inside the 20-yard line. Clifford Ivory ran him out of bounds. And the Thunder fans have something to cheer about. It's been a while. Rogers from El Camino College, allocated by the San Diego Chargers. He's a guy that West Chandler basically had to teach all the fundamentals of running routes to. Guy that was a little bit fragile, going across the middle. West had to run all kinds of routes during practice, sending him across the middle, trying to toughen him up a little bit. Find some separation on the corner out there. First and 10 for the 19. Again, flag stop play. What is it, flag day here in Germany? Prior to the snap, false start. Offense, Outside, number 82. Five-yard penalty 
remains first down. They're flying inside. They're flying on the tops of the goalposts. I mean, the flags are flying everywhere. York Heckenbach caught four balls last week. Guilty of a false start as you check out the penalties on the, on the evening. Nine for Scotland, eight for Berlin. 160 yards have been marched off. First and 15, and we have another penalty. Tashi, actually, Where's that's TJ Washington at right tackle. Part got the, the hiccups. False start. Offense, number 76. Five yard penalty remains. First down. Listen up. Listen up. I'm not so sure as if Berlin doesn't have more penalty yards than they do offensive yards. First and 20. Justin Watson breaks the draw up the middle up inside the 15 to the 14 yard line. Mosley and Rosga combine on the tackle. Check those numbers for you, Bill. 221 total offensive yards for Berlin. But they have 155, or 105, excuse me, 105 in penalties. That was before the offsides, the false start by T.J. Washington. Make it a buck 10. Second down and five. Ware over the middle. Looking for Isaac Curtis. Incomplete. Good defense. Lee Wiggins, the safety out of South Carolina with a tackle. With the breakup. You need, to, you need to look on that paper right there and find something that'll motivate your player. And it's not a play. You need something to find on that paper to get these guys thinking about how serious it is and what they're over here for. Andre Ware. Looks into the end zone. Touchdown this time to Marcus Hinton. Where to Hinton? A 14-yard scoring strike. You may hear that call in Oakland this year, both property of the Raiders. But there is a flag back at the 22-yard line. Well, that was after the play. Jim Hoffman Personal got a little foul. pushing contest with T.J. Washington. Defense. The 15 yard penalty will be assessed kickoff. on the kickoff. So the score will stand. Andre Ware's second touchdown pass of the day. The tight end, Marcus Hinton. And Axel Krusa on to attempt the extra point. And he gets the biggest roar of the night. Krusa, a soccer store star here. Very nice job by Pierce, the holder, of picking that ball up off the ground and getting it placed for Crusa. Here's a touchdown, Andre Ware. Here's Hinton. Has about two steps on the linebacker, Hess. And a nice thrown ball by Ware. Marcus Hinton, a former wide receiver in college, came into camp at 275 pounds. That really kept him out of the starting lineup until just before game time last week. They felt he had worked his way into enough shape and had done enough things to earn the starting nod. Scoring drive of five plays, 58 yards. Wide receiver for the Berlin Thunder, Mike Bowman, out of this game with a broken rib. Don't believe he'll be back in. As Wes Chandler keeps on coaching, David Akers will kick off from the 45 due to the penalty. And he 
to kick it through the end zone. A touchback, first one of the game. And the Claymores will take over first and 10 from their own 20 yard line. We got a kick to the end zone. Finally, well, we had a 15 yard boost there. David Akers, property of the Philadelphia Eagles, as Damian Craig stays in the ball game. 38 seconds left in the third quarter. There's Mike Bowman. Got ice on the knee, bandage on the ribs. Here's the, here's the ice here, bandage here. And a frown on the face. Yeah. First and 10, this is Emory Smith up past the 30 yard line. I was just going to say, I think it's important for Scotland, you know, with this comfortable lead they've had since uh, the first quarter, basically, that they stay focused and keep their minds in a game situation, game preparation. That it's four quarters and to execute, to do the little things and not get lackadaisical in their efforts and their assignments. 12 yards for Emery Smith on the carry. He caught two balls in the first half. And that was the last play of the third quarter. The Scottish this is Claymores. The end of the third quarter. Taking a 38 to 14 lead into the final stanza here in Berlin, Germany. You can see how close we are to the wall here. Here's the fans right in here. And that's the wall right behind it. The Berlin Wall. The longest stretch, the only standing stretch of wall actually left right behind the stadium here. It runs the length of the stadium behind Jan Stadion here in Berlin, Germany. Nine years ago it came down. East Germany got their freedom. June of 1990. Damian Craig changing plays at the line of scrimmage. Craig 13 of 20 for 244 and four touchdowns on the day. This one tipped away. George Harris broke it up intended for Donald Sellers. Sellers with four grabs for 45 yards on the night. Caught six balls for 83 last week. Damian Craig putting up some fancy numbers was 22 of 40 last week. Second and 10. Throws the screen out to Ben Snell. Snell brought down by Cedric Clark. And Claudius Wright. The money down, Don't let him outside. Do not let him outside the pot. The money down, Good advice from Andre Ware. Brings up a third down and two. Smith and Snell in the backfield. Damian Craig on play action. Got Sellers. Sellers with a step, and he'll gather it in at the 22 yard line. Excellent play fake action from Damian Craig. You, you'd mentioned Sellers earlier that he was a former quarterback in New Mexico, and thus far over here in NFL Europe, his first two weeks of being wide receiver, drew man to man coverage out here on Claudius Wright. Play fake up in the middle, went right by Wright. That protection up front gave him enough time to get open. 38 yards on the play as Snell hammers the middle. Picks up four or five on first down. Vladimir Elich makes a defensive play. You know, the one thing we talked about at the open was all the different things Scotland can do offensively. And we attributed it to their quarterback, Damian Craig. But what he actually has brought to this team is that ability to throw outside, to pound the ball with the two running back power set, and then when something breaks down, buy time and scramble out of the pocket. And the pointing begins as the flags are on the ground again. 
And we're illustrating this offense. We're seeing Snell pound up the middle. You see a screen pass. You see the balls uh, thrown outside. We've seen the tight end catch balls on the seam route. Uh, they're, they're, they're doing whatever they want offensively. Prior to the snap, number 68 defense in the neutral zone, neutral zone infraction, five yard penalty, first down. Oh, that was a sim, bro. Another penalty on the defensive line. I don't believe it was 68. I don't That's think that is gun. He's an offensive lineman unless they got desperate and put him in there on defense. There's not even a defensive player that ends in the number eight. First down and 10 from the 12. Snell met in the middle. No gain on the play. Cedric Clark fills in from his linebacker spot. Nate Parks down on the play. Damian Craig's numbers, he's closing in on 300 yards now, 15 of 23 for 290 and four touchdowns as he has spread it around to six different receivers. And that's another thing with Billy. He's, he's got everybody involved in this offense as you were talking about. Well, six different receivers, and that's pretty doggone good considering there's only eight eligible. You have eight eligible receivers playing tonight, and six of them have caught passes. You see Coach Kreiner out there with the trainers looking at Nate Parks, and his major concern is he doesn't have that many offensive linemen. Adam Hernandez, the only other active offensive lineman, as Eric Moss was pulled put on injured reserve, put a, pulled a hamstring, and didn't even dress for tonight's game. It's good to see a man be able to get up under his own power when you're looking at a knee. Nathan Parks allocated from the Kansas City Chiefs. Was a defensive lineman in college. I remember I told you earlier, everybody's over here for a reason. Everyone's trying to do something. You know, when you switch positions from defensive line to offensive line, for the Kansas City Chiefs, the Chiefs, this has been a great proving ground for them. There's Hernandez who checks in at that right guard spot. Second and ten. Play action. Craig again on the scramble. Takes it up to the five yard line. John Williams and Roderick Thomas force him out of bounds. See Craig look downfield and nothing there. When the pocket closes, there's no contain. Nobody outside. I mean, that's the one thing when you're playing defense Ben and you're rushing, you've got to have containment on a mobile quarterback. You need the containment from the ends and you need to push from the defensive tackles. Charge timeout. Timeout. Scotland. Taken by the Scotland. first charge team timeout. This is a 30 second timeout. As the play clock had gotten down to three, and Damian Craig didn't feel he could get this one off in time, a critical third down and two. Although I don't know how critical it can be with a 38 to 14 lead here in the fourth quarter. Jermaine Benoit, a defensive lineman by trade, checking in on offense. Well, he, he went down. Instructions first. Wait, wait, wait. See, he ran down the sidelines and told the side judge, and the side judge said, "Don't tell me. Go over there and tell the referee. That's who you have to tell." He thought it was basketball. You know, in basketball, when you run down the sideline, right. you guys to go over to the desk there and check in. Number 75. 75 is an eligible receiver. 
75 declared eligible. Checks in at a tight end position, so therefore had to inform the referee about the number being eligible. Third and two. Damian Craig rolls and throws it in the end zone. Incomplete. Trying for his tight end, Bell. Benoit, Benoit actually, Benoit ran a pass pattern. Both players landed on the track, rubberized track, covered by a piece of carpet back there, a little slow getting up. Rubberized, you're, yeah, you sound like it's soft back yeah, there. I'm being generous, aren't I? <laughs> Look at there's Benoit. Benoit. The defensive lineman gets in there and runs a pass route across the back of the end zone. So Rob Hart will come on and attempt a field goal. <laughs> didn't, didn't look like he was ever looking back at the ball. Looks like he was just looking straight ahead to make sure he didn't run into anybody. A 22-yard attempt from Hart, who is perfect on the night and remains so. And Scotland pads their lead. They now are up 41 to 14 over the Berlin Thunder. Thanks, guys. The Scottish Claymores pad their lead now 41 to 14 on a nine play 76 yard drive. Englishman Rob Hart set to kick this deep to Watson and Harris. A low liner from Hart. Bobbled by the front man and he'll just lay on it. That ball's loose. Tried to lay on it. Take a look What's at Damian Craig on the sidelines. One of the top quarterbacks in the nation during his career at the University of Auburn. His senior year, 1997, you see the numbers. Became the first quarterback in school history to throw for over 3,000 yards in a season. Currently on the depth chart with the Carolina Panthers. He may have moved up that depth chart based on tonight's performance. Four touchdown passes for Damian Craig. Andre Ware stays in at quarterback, dumps it outside to York Heckenback, and Heckenback can't catch it. His looks could kill. See that look Andre gave Heckenback? Andre is as frustrated as, as his coach Wes Chandler over there. Second down and 10 now. Quick screen to Andre Roan. Roan. Forced out of bounds at the 38 yard line. Sixth catch on the day for Andre Roan. One of the few bright spots for this Berlin Thunder team. Third down and four. Ware throws it outside for Edwin Watson. Watson is going to be stopped short. John Hess, a good defensive play, an open field tackle. The one thing the Claymores have been able to do defensively this entire game, Ray, is watch. They're in four wide receivers here. And they never come out of base personnel. They don't go to nickel package. They keep the three linebackers in and watch the job of the linebackers. Finkus is back in coverage, and then Hess comes up and closes to finish that play on the pass underneath. Charlie Pierce punts it to Yo Murphy. Murphy with a fair catch at his 21 yard line. And that is where the Scottish Claymores will put the ball into play. That, that, that's the one thing that the Claymores have done defensively is they never have to come out. They, they never have to go to nickel or dime package. Berlin comes out in four wide receivers. They keep their base personnel on the field so their linebackers can match up on the slot receivers, and there's still enough big bodies in there that they're unable to run. The ball. Berlin can't run against them because 
They have the linebackers up in there. We have a new quarterback for the Scottish Claymores, Ryan Clements. Picked up as a free agent here. Played his college ball in Miami. And Clement will hand it to Jesse Haynes. Haynes on a cutback, finds a seam up to the 28 yard line. And, and, and for Damian Craig, you know, it's like college. You, you get to come out of the game in the fourth quarter, take your helmet and shoulder pads off, have a comfortable lead. You know, like when you play the homecoming team, right. homecoming day, you get that comfortable lead in the fourth quarter, you come out, you sit on the sidelines, have it off. Well, of course, when we used to play Pitt, we'd always have some Templar somebody. We'd do that. Now, Ray, you. Oh, you always were that home. Yeah, we were. Team. We were always uh, the, the part of the homecoming feast <laughs> at Central Michigan <laughs> University, where we won a couple of Mid-American Conference championships. I might add. Second and five for Ryan Clement. Hands it again to Haynes. Haynes off the right side, busts it out up to the 43-yard line. You know that's 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 salt in the wound when you run the ball and pick up yards like that. There's your, there's your uh, homecoming celebration right there. 15 of 24, 290 yards and four touchdowns for Damian Craig. Damian, keep it behind the Out of Blountain High School in Pritchard, Pritchard, Alabama. The pride of Pritchard. Clement to Haynes again. Nowhere this time is Cedric Clark, who was playing a pretty good game on defense, makes another tackle for a loss. And I'm always anxious to see it. The years I've come over here, I've got to see some players, and then I get to see them again in the NFL and how they develop and the things they do. And You know, I, I haven't been wrong yet on some of the guys I think that have the ability to go to the next level, and I see them somewhere along the line. And I saw it in John Kitna. I saw it in Sean LaChapelle, who played for the Scottish Claymores. In 96, I saw him make an NFL roster and really contribute to Kansas City. And to me, Damian Craig, I'm anxious to see what he'll do in Carolina in camp this year. Ryan Clement back to try his first pass of the day, and this is incomplete, looking for his fullback, Jamie Reeder. NFL Europe quarterback, some of those guys you were talking about, Bill. These are quarterbacks with 1998 starts who have played here in NFL Europe. Yeah, I saw the same thing in Brad Johnson as he played over here for London. And also Paul Jester. And I think Damian Craig's along those lines. Now, of course, the game is a lot faster at the NFL level, and the defensive backs are a lot more craftier than he's seen here tonight. But still, he possesses the ability to make things happen when they break down, and he's fairly accurate. Ryan Clement. It's Sean Bell, the tight end. Bell up near the first down. Looks like they're going to mark him uh, just a little bit shy. As the ball scored it out, but the officials say that Bell was down. And this is a nice time for Jim Kreiner to see what he can get out of Ryan Clement in case something does happen to Damian Craig during the season, an injury occurs. Because he only got Ryan Clement four days left in camp. He hasn't really had time to develop and to go through the training camp, so he's had to play catch up all this time to get to know the offense, get to pick everything up. So this is a good time to get him a little game experience with his comfortable lead. Chris Dolan fields another errant snap. Bombs this one towards John Williams in the end zone, and it'll go into the end zone. A touchback. And we will take a break right now. The Scottish Claymores over the Berlin Thunder, 41 to 14. If you are a complete football junkie and you need a more fix of NFL stuff, visit NFLEurope.com after the game for a complete recap and player statistics. Like I said, if you're a complete football junkie or Damian Craig's mother, you want to go in there and see those numbers that his son put up once again and had enough of it. Those are some sparkling numbers on the day for Damian Craig. First down and 10. Chuck Clements back into the lineup at quarterback for Berlin. They run the draw. Justin Watson. Watson wide open on the right side. Shows the speed, gets the corner. Into Scottish territory to the 45.
up Berlin fans excited here with that run. First thing they had to cheer about since early in the first quarter. And other NFL Europe action today Amsterdam beats Frankfurt 17 to 13 the Admirals get their first win to go one and one Frankfurt their first loss they also go to one and one. First and ten after the 29 yard run from Justin Watson. Clements over the middle threw it into a crowd looking for Andre Roan incomplete. Oh, Finkus was right there too. He Bang. wanted another pick. Didn't yeah, he? he's banging the ground right in about the same area he got the last interception in that zone area. His roll floating over to the right, getting in front, following the quarterback. With the incomplete, second down and ten. Shuttle pass incomplete. Defense very nicely by Shatoni Sargent and John Hess. Tony Sargent was all over that. Out of the shotgun, he just, when he got up field, he saw the back come underneath, he just followed the back. His presence there was enough to disrupt that shovel pass from Clemens. Third and ten. Clements. Uh oh, this is going the other way. That's Cliff Ivory. <laughs> and he beat Clements like a drum to go into the end zone. But a moment. 59 yards on the interception return for Clifford Ivory of the San Diego Chargers. There's Damian Craig out there to share some of the wealth. And then your guys are out there dancing. <laughs> the fun bunch. Scotland, they go everywhere the Claymores go. Nice break on the ball from Ivory. That'll bring, bring Rob Hart out to tack on an extra point. And he does. And it is now 48 to 14, the Scottish Claymores. Second interception on the night for Chuck Clements. This one with points on the boards for the fun bunch. So the Scottish Claymores will start this season 2 and 0. In their next five games, they host Frankfurt and Barcelona, then they go to Rhine, to Frankfurt, and then they'll have the rematch with this Berlin Thunder team. A long-awaited road win for the Scottish Claymores. They've struggled on the road. They lost all their road games last year. Lost seven of their last eight, in fact. As Hart kicks this to John Williams. Williams shows his part and gets shoestringed up at the 39 yard line. So, with four minutes and 22 seconds left on the clock, if I were Don Meredith, I'd be singing right now. Because this party is definitely over. Uh, it's been over. Yeah, actually, you know, it's, it's been over since the first quarter. They have not found the way, they being the Berlin Thunder defense, of containing and stopping anything Scotland tried to do offensively. Chuck Clements back for another try. Connects with Tyrone Taylor. Out on the left side, Tyrone Taylor with the Chargers, son of Alty Taylor, who was a running back with the Detroit Lions back in 69 through 76.
Five yards on the play brings up second down and five. 34 look from Scotland. Four linebackers, three defensive linemen. Something Merle Moore, their defensive coordinator, said they were working to put in as Edwin Watson breaks through on a draw. And you know if this Claymore defense is thinking pass right now all the way. Evident in the way they just played that run. <laughs> a 14-yard pickup for Edwin Watson. Well, they made it easy there, too, because they only had the three down linemen. Those gaps between the three down linemen were bigger, being that it's not a four-man front. When the ends got upfield, those holes were big in the middle. First and ten. Clements with pressure over the middle. Hits his tight end, Hinton. Marcus Hinton of the Oakland Raiders with another grab. Steve Rosga wrestles him down. Seventeen yard gain on the play. First down and ten from the twenty six. Clements. Hinton beat this one up incomplete. You know, not that Berlin has any has had any kind of chance to really do anything structurally offense. For the most part all night, all it's been like flag football. And three and four men outside wide, drop back and throwing the ball. In. Wyman aren't doing anything. They never did get a running game going. They got behind so early. It's just drop back and throw and drop back and throw. And that makes it tough for an offense to get anything done. And it makes it pretty doggone easy for a defense to hone in on what they're doing. Clements looking towards the end zone. Overthrows Anthony Rogers, Clifford Ivory with good coverage. And the corners for Scotland have held up pretty good tonight. After being burned for several long passes in the opener against the Rhine Fire, they have pretty much eliminated the big play here today. Early on, Rodgers caught a long ball. Other than that, they've shut him down. Second and ten. Third and ten. Clements overthrows everybody. Miscommunication with Tyrone Taylor. And now there's a scrap on the field. A little frustration is T.J. Washington mixing it up with Shatoni Sargent down there. And it did draw a flag. My question here, Ray, is very simply, you know, they picked the flag up, Bill, and we get a field goal try now. No, no, on the field goal. My question's on the field goal. Yeah, well, you want to get David Akers a shot to try the 44-yarder, I suppose. Get some work on it. This is blocked. Even that backfires. Looks like John Hess blocked that one. Scotland 48, Berlin 14. This field goal will be. How you doing, Ma? I love you. Hi, Gilbert. Hi, Wendy. I love you, too. What's up, Nick? What's up, Chance? I love you. Two down, nine to go, baby. Yes, oh. sir. But war vote. Hey, let me hear you say Claymore. Claymore. A lot of love over there on the Claymore sidelines. Yeah. And it's what you might expect with a 48 to 14 lead and a 2 0 record now as the fun bunch. Living it up here in Berlin. Ryan Clement. Taking over at quarterback for Damian Craig after this one was over. Emory Smith tries the right side. Jomo Cousins throws him down. We have a game tomorrow. Ryan hosting Barcelona, uh, Barcelona. And then next week, Bill, these teams try to get this thing going. And, and with a 10-game season, it's important to get a good start. 
Well, Berlin's going to fall here to 0-2, and, and then their next two road games are on the road. And, and that's trouble, because like you said, in only a 10-week 10 10 schedule over here in NFL Europe, it's important to get off to a good start to have a shot to see how things unfold for the World Bowl. And the flags come out again, it looks like Berlin Thunder got an early start. We'll see if they were drawn off. Henry Slay. Encroachment, number 91, making contact with an offensive player. Five-yard penalty remains second down. Yeah, Wes has just got to be sick. On the other sideline, Jim Kreiner. Got to be very happy with his team. And, he, and we, when we talked to him coming in, he was pretty excited about this ball club. He was very excited about his quarterback. Ten penalties on the night against Berlin. As Ben Snell tries to run the clock out. There's still a little bit of uh, fight left in these dogs. They may be ground a little bit, but I didn't see much fight. Not in this game. Third down and one as the clock ticks down to around 40 seconds left in the contest. Snell to the right side to the 50. First down for Scotland. 